They didn't see themselves as heroes, and afterwards, you know, as I said, many of them didn't talk about it. My grandfather, due to the countermanding order that went out uh, over that uh, bank holiday weekend. He was originally to uh, muster at George's place down beside Temple Street Hospital, but when he got down there, there was no volunteers there. So he knew from previous meetings that there was going to be a number of volunteers up here on the North Circular Road Bridge, uh, creating an outpost. They commandeered some of the local houses around here on the North Circular Road. They put barriers across the road. They were largely outnumbered. You're talking about 20 men holding up approximately three to 400 British soldiers coming down the North Circular Road. He commandeered a car from here and drove down to the GPO, went in to meet James Connolly, give him a, a, a report on what was happening here on the North Circular Road, and from there acquired uh, dynamite and other war materials and drove back here from Grange Gorman, the British rolled up their 18 pound cannons and fired on the rebels position here behind me. Tuesday night, Wednesday, the early hours of Wednesday morning, their position was been overrun. I would, I would think a lot of people in their cars here today and, and pedestrians and people getting off the loose here, they're probably oblivious to what went on here on the North Circular Road in 1916. This is one of the lesser known battles that happened uh, within uh, Easter week. My name is Eamon McHale and I'm the grandson of William O'D, who was part of the garrison in the Mendicity Institution during the week, Easter week 1916. It was one of the most um, difficult combats. It was fairly intense and, and these were all you know, men, young men who had no experience of fighting. They did march and drill and have shots at targets, but suddenly they were immersed in this situation and it was really kind of you know, just shortly after they arrived in the building, they didn't even have time to settle in, and then they were really facing life-threatening situations, and they were forced to, to shoot people in that. Over the centenary celebrations, many local groups got together, and they were able to find stories about the individuals. And I think if you look at all the individuals, they were just ordinary people who had certain strong beliefs that they should fight for the country. They didn't see themselves as heroes and afterwards, you know, as I said, many of them didn't talk about it because they didn't think it was, it was a, a very important thing to do. But they had a belief, they had a commitment and they went out on the streets and put themselves literally on the firing line. And I think you have to admire that and say in the time that was in it, that was the start of the foundation of our state. And you can say, was it a foolish activity? Was it, had it any chance of success? It doesn't really matter looking at it now. You have to look at the individuals and what they contributed and what standards they set.